so in this video I'm gonna show you that uh, how you can control anything with this PS3 controller and ESP32 so uh, I have uh, prepared a system uh, with uh, yeah, this uh, PS3 controller and ESP32 as you can see that uh, I am controlling this uh, car a robot car uh, with PS3 controller using ESP32 through Bluetooth connection so it is uh, very fun and uh, so without any wasting time uh, let's get start and see uh, how we can use this ps3 controller to control almost any hardware and anything and uh, it is very fun so for this project first of all you will need a playstation 3 controller uh, which looks like uh, this and uh, this is a uh, copy of a PlayStation 3 controller it is probably made in China and uh, I think it's a plus copy it's a pretty good uh, build quality is very good and working is also very good so and after that you will need uh, something this so uh, this is a battery pack this is a uh, H-Bridge uh, DC motor driver controller and uh, this is ESP32 so I made this board myself uh, you can use any ESP32 board uh, ESP32 S uh, ESP32 D uh, uh, anything will work so uh, basically you will need a, a robot uh, which you can control by using this controller so this is the uh, hardware which we need to make this kind of setup you can uh, use uh, this controller to control any thing any robot uh, possibilities are there so it it is in this setup is just for demonstration so you can get the idea uh, what we are going to do uh, with this controller and this esp32 board so let's get uh, to our software part and uh, we'll see uh, how we uh, did all, all of this so let's do software part of them. first of all you have to plug in your controller uh, with your uh, laptop or pc or whatever you are using so you will need uh, this kind of uh, cable uh, data cable uh, i think uh, it is usb type b mini or uh, whatever you call so uh, plug this into controller and the other side into USB port of your laptop or PC and then after connecting the controller to your uh, system you will need a 6 access pair tool so 6 access pair tool uh, look like uh, this and uh, we need this to find out the MAC address of our controller um, uh, so uh, now after plugging in after plugging in the controller to your uh, PC it will take some time uh, for the first time uh, to detect the MAC address of, of the controller so this is the current MAC address uh, to which our controller is connected so what we will do we will copy this MAC address uh, in our Arduino sketch to connect the ESP32 to this controller or uh, this controller to ESP32 so you can update the uh, MAC address uh, here uh, you can uh, choose whatever you want uh, but uh, make sure that the MAC address uh, uh, of uh, of the controller and the ESP32 uh, are both are the same so uh, now we will, what we will do we will copy this MAC address and uh, close this and after this after this we will open the Arduino ID and we will install some libraries so first of all we will install ps3 host controller library so you have to search ps3 esp32 sorry esp32 
and you will uh, see uh, this library ps3 host contro uh, controller host library so uh, here is the important thing you have to install version 1.0.0 there are uh, updated version like 1.0.1 and 1.1.0 but you have to install 1.0.0 the updated version uh, are broken and do not work with the ESP32. I don't know what the problem here, but um, those version do not work. So uh, you have to install uh, 1.0.0 as uh, I already have installed 1.0.0. And then what you have to do, you have to uh, install the ESP32 boards. So to install, so install this library and close, and then go to Arduino and then go to your boards manager so i already have installed esp32 boards but if you have not installed the esp32 board you need to install esp32 boards so just search esp32 board and i have installed esp32 board so uh, here is one important thing so you have to install exactly 1.0.2 version of this board uh, the there are updated version but uh, uh, i don't know why uh, the host controller uh, ps3 controller host library does not work with the updated versions um, uh, as i already said that uh, there is some uh, break uh, about all these components so uh, i don't know right that does not fix this um, broken state uh, so we have to stick with this version 1.0.2 so install this uh, as i al already have installed so install this version of esp32 board close this and now go to your tools board and select whatever board you are using so i i have selected a node mcu 32s as i have esp32 s board uh, chip so select this board and the appropriate com port as i have not connected the board so what we will do then we will open uh, uh, example sketch ps3 host controller ps3 demo so here is the ps3 demo so, uh, so what you have to do uh, you have to update this demo to connect this uh, to our uh, esp32 here you have to update your uh, update the mac address of your esp32 so uh, this MAC address is the same MAC address uh, which we got from uh, six access pair tool. So both the MAC address should be same. So simply copy and paste that MAC address here and then build this. So it is successfully building. So after this connect the ESP. 32 board to your computer and select the appropriate com port as i have connected the board and the com port is uh, com5 so hit upload and it will upload the uh, code to uh, your board so uploading is done now open the serial port and uh, now turn on your controller and yes it is connected successfully so as i, I am uh, pressing button and rotating some joysticks you can see that uh, different kinds of number are displaying on serial serial console and so uh, we will use this uh, numbers and this data to control any kind of um, um, or robot or any kind of uh, hardware what we uh, want to control so uh, that's it uh, this is how we can control any hardware or any robot with ps3 controller uh, i will attach all the tools and all the software and plus with the uh, code which I used uh, to control my uh, this uh, car robot um, in the description you will find all the related material in the description so that's it uh, if you find the video interesting kindly uh, like the video and subscribe the channel it will be very helpful uh, thanks for watching see you next time